Hi everybody and welcome to my 7th 2013 Microsoft Access tutorial. And this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can uh, link tables from other databases. And what this means is that you can just have a table that's not saved in the same place, link it in and it will work in both the databases essentially. So I've got my database that I used in the previous tutorial uh, but it's missing the uh the the items table so in my sales i've got my uh item number but then i haven't got the other information that i want uh attached within that uh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a linked table uh so to do this uh, i'm just going to expand this to give me a little bit, a bit more room go to external data and then click on access uh and uh, if you're using older versions of Excel, then you will need to uh, create a new table and then select linked table. Uh, I'm then going to click on the link to the data source by creating a linked table. Uh, and I'm going to browse for the database that I want, uh, which is in my tutorial 5 folder. Uh, and I'm going to press on open and press OK. And it's then going to come up with a list of tables within that database so i want to click on my item table uh, you can select multiple ones but in this case i'm just going to select the items uh, and press ok uh, and now i've got this table here which is ex all the information in the items table uh, and this can be updated from either database so if i'm in here i can add new records in i can amend the other records and it will update it in the other database um, so essentially, uh, you've just got your one table and both your databases can reference it at once. Um, and you just link these together in the same way as you normally would. So if we go into our database tool and relationships and go to show table, then we can have this link table in our relationships here. Uh, so we can link our user ID into our user ID on sales. And we can link our um, item number into our item number on sales. Uh, and then we can save that. And we'll have, if we go into these again, so let's go into our uh, users, you can click on that and you can see the sales. Um, you notice, however, that even though in our relationships, We've got the item linked in. You can't actually use the expanding tool. Uh, but what we can do is we can use that relationship in our queries later on. Um, and that's going to be it for linked tables. Apart from just one thing, I uh, just want to show you the link table manager. If your table ever moves uh, and it can't connect to it anymore, just right click on this and go to link table manager. Uh, and then you can just click on these and go prompt for new location. Uh, and then press OK and it will prompt me for the new location of them. Uh, one thing that's important to remember is quite often people have their drives and they differently. So if you're on a network, make sure you put in the uh, network path rather than just C drive or whatever. Um, so that is actually going to be it this time. Uh, thanks for listening. I've been enjoying these tutorials and uh, finding them useful. Then I'll do new ones every Wednesday, so just click on the subscribe button to uh, get notified when they come out. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions, just stop up, pop up in the comments below. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.